All right, what we have here is a topsoil screener that uh, was just built. When I say we, I say my, my uh, nephew, my brother, and his friend. Uh, just built it up in Ohio. It's for use down in Florida for uh, the topsoil in Florida. So down there, it's mostly sandy in northeast Florida. Um, this design was taken from kind of others that I uh, saw on uh, YouTube and um, looks like it uh, is going to work out pretty good. The fronts, we put it on skids, but for the metal, it's a um, quarter inch angle iron on the uprights. Front is 36 inches high and the rear angle iron is 54 and the top part comes up to probably almost six, not quite six feet. Um, works pretty good so far in the shop. We're, we're pretty much done with it. We just put the screen on it, but I uh, just wanted to pose around and look at some of the, the me mechanisms. The um, coil springs, thought about getting from the junkyard, but um, that's very hard in an urgent manner. So we ended up going to uh, Advanced AutoZone, or AutoZone, I should say. We got the springs and it was off of a uh, Mitsubishi Galana. Basically, I just um, Googled coil springs and filtered by the cheapest. And this one came up, it's a Duralast. And um, it actually worked out, so it was 50 bucks for that. Um, engine, Harbor Freight, it's a six and a half horsepower engine. Plenty big, you don't need anything bigger than that. And when I get to the end, we'll start it up and you can see um, how it's gonna work out. The screen was um, a livestock screen that was just left over that's probably gonna cost me a case of beer. And um, so that was, uh, that'll work out pretty good. The wheels, the casters, off, they're by about 10 inch wheels. They were off of a, uh, a dolly before. And it's basically, I have a Kubota 33 horsepower um, tractor with a 66 inch bucket on there. So the top frame is uh, six feet wide, so I can get my bucket underneath there. And the bottom frame is probably about six inches wider in total. Angle iron around there is three inches. I think it's all three inch angle all the way around. We put skids on the bottom. Some that came up before, um, uh, well these are um, pillow blocks on the end. The shaft is an inch and a quarter. Um, pretty pretty uh, heavy shaft right there. Inch and a quarter. And for the, the um, counterweights, actually I'll get in right here. You can see the counterweights. Um, what we had is the um, two-piece collars uh, that you screw together. And what my brother did was uh, made a counterweight on there, machine one, um, counterweight on that side. So we have four collars, and we got those at Fastenal. Had a hard time finding them, but they're at, at uh, Fastenal. Let me just turn it right there. You can see the counterweight right there. And um, so you had, there's, just to hold it tight, there's um, two clamps on each counterweight. And, um, I said the, the um, uh, inch and a quarter shaft with the pillow blocks there. We thought about putting one in the middle, but you're really not going to have to um, run this at a high RPMs to get it to, uh, to get it to work. Uh, all right, who wants to crank this up? Go up a little bit. You can, I don't know if you can see it from the video, but it's shaking pretty good on the, um, the screen. You can see that's gonna jumping pretty good.
something else we want to do is it's about a 20 degree angle um, given where we were and I think the um, 30 degree angle would have been too much for this so this is a 20 degree angle if that's not high enough we can know can probably um, lift up the back a little bit if needed so other than that that is it I'll probably post another uh, video once I actually get it back to Florida and um, put some dirt through it